What's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react to another episode of Overlord, Season 4, Episode 5. Mmm, last episode was mostly focused on Ainz and, sorry, <laughs> the tournament, um, overall just, you know, assessing the Warrior King, is his name, and bringing him to life in front of all of those people, like, Pretty much he was just scouting people, but also now, after that whole thing, is not even really scouting anymore. I mean, like, he kind of made it a hard bargain for the Emperor. Like, hmm, I'm offering them the chance to go on as many adventures as they want. I'll revive them. It's no problem for me. Like, can you promise them that? Can you promise them that much safety, that much power? that much uh, support too because he said he'd give them anything they needed um, and he just whooped that warrior king's ass so it's like if he could whoop that guy's ass he's good. he could definitely kill the emperor at any time so Elnix is kind of like uh, uh, we submit um, I'll be a vassal and you know I'm, I missed this when I was editing but he said what's a vassal? so I guess he's gonna go talk to a uh, Demir Jed Albedo about that. I've seen him on the screen in the opening. The opening scene, so I don't know where he's going. I, I thought he was on some sort of mission right now in the Holy Kingdom, I think they said. We'll have to see. I don't know where he's at. This might be in. It kind of looks like Nazarick, like in one of the hallways, but I, I could be wrong. Um. So, I feel like there's something else. And then the dwarf runic text on the blade that I uh, found at that one merchant's uh, I don't know, so shop, if you will. So I'm assuming we're going to meet the dwarves at some point, maybe? But yeah, anyway. Other than that, let's jump into the reaction, guys. Aww. Is that what you were trying to get out of him? <laughs> Real? What? That fast? I'm, I'm in shock. あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
<laughs> oh my god, it's such a competition between who, who does he like more? Who's his favorite? Um, the context there, man. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> he, oh, did he make both of them? Or wait, was that a different name? Oh, I don't remember, guys. これより私に随行し、ドワーフの国に向かってほしい。かしこまりました。もう一人友として、シャルティアを連れて行く。シャルティアですか?えっと、ドワーフ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。
He's gonna be like, really? <laughs> Are you sure? ですね。ドアフのマジックアイテムはルーンを使って作られていた。Faster, it's more convenient. Well, you could hire them, Ainz. Bring them into the fold, and this will be their task, their role in your kingdom. Aww. Do you know anyone who can still carve these runes? Kagayakashi, <laughs> 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 Yeah. I love it. I kinda wanna cry right now. Yeah, like that's true. Sell his soul? Wait, 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 why is that necessary? What do you mean? Just pledge his allegiance to you? That's essentially what you're getting at? Like, he doesn't actually have to sell his soul, right? Yay! I wanted to see what these things were after I saw in the intro. Cool. Quagoa? Eat metals from an earthly age. Well, that's a hindrance to you when you're trying to mine them and yeah. Okay. Where is my overlord section? I think it's over here. Okay. Ah oh, fuck. I forgot already how to spell it. Um it's tougher than metal armor. Oh. Oh. Even. Oh. Also, maybe skin them and use them. <laughs> this armor. If their skin or their fur alone is essentially armor, that's crazy, dude. The stronger the metal, the stronger their hair their armor is. And the color changes. If it's super strong, it'll be red or blue. <laughs> Are you planning on taking out the leader? Oh, so you're kind of just like imprisoning them right now and then binding them? Okay. So that's it until you can go speak to their leader and call off their attack. That was quick as hell, too. Good job, girl, for real. 
この者たちから情報を引き出せかしこまりした<笑>何も喋らんぞ部族の誇りにかけたな You better start talking otherwise heads are gonna roll それで何が聞きたいんだ俺たちはトップハイある種族をリューロ様に使える選手だここより北にあるドワーフどもの都市を攻め滅ぼすんだよおいそこのドワーフお前ら自慢の釣り橋を守ってる鳥でももうおしまいだ大酒目を迂回できるルートが見つかったんだよそろそろ本体がドワーフどもを皆殺しにしてるはずさああ Is it over? Oh no! What? Oh, let me go back. We gotta read that one more time. They're being slaughtered. We found a route that will bypass the great chasm. Should I go back further a little bit? Here we go. Perfect. Okay, or don't work. So they had some fortress guarding this great chasm, and it's done. He said it's done, but they found a way to bypass it. So they're all in their kingdom right now. They've entered and they're slaughtering all of them as we speak. So guess next episode we got to get on top of protecting them. If you're trying to align yourselves with them, you got to have people to protect. You know what I mean, my guy. So, I don't know. I think they need to get to the bottom of why. Is it really just as simple as they feed off of metal and the dwarves mine the metal and turn it into weapons? So, it's kind of like they're fighting for the same resource. Is it just as simple as that? Do you need to... Maybe you can come in here, play mediator, find a way for them to kind of like compromise and then therefore coexist. Like... Find some sort of plan that's mutually beneficial、um, for both of these tribes. Good luck. I don't know how easy that is going to be to be to achieve.、Um, it also seems like there's some like history there, so you've got that to kind of work on. But wouldn't it be so easy if s h e l t e r could just charm all of them? But that doesn't last forever, you know? They're gonna snap out of it and be like, What's going on? Why are we working with them? Why am I even standing next to him right now and I haven't slaughtered him by now? Why is this happening? You're gonna, yeah, that wouldn't work. You're gonna have to just, I don't know, talk to their leader, wherever the leader of their wolf thing peck is. I, fuck, I think I wrote it down. Kwai Goa? Um, Kwai, is that right? Kwai Goa. Yeah, talk to their leader and maybe the leader of the dwarves. And then also, the other issue you have is not a lot of these dwarves are like swordsmiths anymore, you know, like in the sense of like they don't carve the runic symbols into the blade.、Um, it is less cost effective, it just takes more time, which is the issue. They want the weapons now, instantaneously. Right? Like, it's kind of. It, I almost feel like it is very similar to our world now. Things now are made quickly, but they're not made to last. You got something from like made in the 50s, 60s, whatever. Like, that shit's made to last. Nowadays, you're lucky if your shit will last a couple years before it takes a shit on you. So, it kind of feels like. It's the same it's the same thing. They're going through the same thing. It's, it's kind of cool. Because at least he has something to pull from to reference and sort of come up with a plan that would work if you're seeing something like this. You, you have some actual real life experience that you may be able to pull from.、Uh, granted, I don't know if his world that he came from was anything like our world. You know, it could have. Could have been more of a dystopia instead of, you know. I'm just saying, I don't know. I just remember Chris telling me that, like, Ein's, like, the air there in that world, like, is very toxic, like, almost radioactive, and, like, so 
It's not like you can just go outside and frolic in the field and shit. You know, just take a stroll. Um, but still, anyway, maybe. There's a chance that he has some real-world experience to pull from here. Um, and then Demurge, he kind of foiled his... No, I don't want to say foiled his plan. He, he accelerated it, but at the same time, foiled it because it's kind of like... He put all of these things into place, expecting them to kind of, you know connect and one leads to the other and eventually we'll reach my goal and he just kind of came in there did some random shit and all go achieved i did it for you i skipped about 10 steps for you bro like huh so now he was looking there going in there looking to get some praise but it's like who do i praise i can't praise you because i did it myself <laughs> so oh poor demir and then albedo said something she said something i can't remember what she said to demir um, I can't remember. I'll go back. He moved on his own as a message telling you not to hold yourself back. Just go for it. Uh, I don't think that was the message at all. He's just doing his own thing right now. Like, I think he's just telling him, like, do whatever you want right now. Like, Everyone's got their own things to do. I'm trying not to interfere with any of you guys' plans. Accidentally did that, obviously, but... And the same thing with Shaltier, which I find interesting. I've been talking about this for seasons where I want to see these characters grow. I want to see them learn. I want to see them change. I don't want to see them keep being the same people they were from season one. To me, that's a little boring. Like, I would love to see them go through, like, some sort of... I don't know, some sort of trial. Um, not like an actual like court trial, but like um tribulous situation where they're kind of forced to where no one else is around and they're kind of forced to think on their feet, like, okay, what do I do in this situation? Learn from everything you experience in this world. Don't keep falling back on the same preconceived notions like actually get to know these other creatures like that's something i'd love to see them do is like get to know what y'all battle is doing i mean i didn't expect it from her actually she's the last person i would expect that from but like actually getting to know these people these creatures and like being on a uh a friendly kind of basis with them exchanging not just uh insider knowledge but like pleasantries like actually having a fun conversation like she did with uh, Renner the other night like just gossiping about boys like I like this I want to see a good relationship between these two different species you know and I know that that's something that will take time but I think if they can learn to be more accepting and loving like this utopia will be all the better for it because now you actually care about the well-being of these people that you're protecting. Not just because he's telling you to, so you're acting out his orders. But because you actually want to protect them. Because you do feel some sort of affinity for them. Some sort of connection to them. I just think that that would be a nice thing. It would be a nice thing to see. And maybe that's a little optimistic of me. But I'm hoping that you kind of go somewhere. Like in at least a, a similar realm of that. Um, we'll see with Shelter, though. And then the whole weird Kukiotis, Kukiotis thing with, those oh, please sit on me. Oh, how comfortable, how does it feel? Oh, it's very comfortable. Oh, okay, you know, I want to train. What did he say? Like, train to be the best chair? Or I can't remember. I don't, I don't want to mess it up. It was pretty funny, the delivery, bro. Where is it at? Where we were talking about this? It was before this? It was before this. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Right here. It's gonna play. How does it feel, Lord Imes? It's quite comfortable. Which seat do you like better, Shaldi or myself? I want to know something like that. I wanted to train my train train myself well for the one who will ride me in the future. Like ride you in what way? 
you know, he's just like, man, why were all of my teammates so fucking dirty when they made their, when they made their, uh, I don't know, character, NPCs, whatever, I don't know what to call them half the time. Like, both of them have weird-ass kinks, like, masochistic kinks. This is uh, so weird. He's a warrior, but he wants to be a bottom. It's, it's, oh man. Okay, anyway. Moving on, good episode. We got some great humor in here, and we're moving things along a lot, a lot quick, quicker than I thought we would. But yeah, anyway, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. The link for that is in the description below, so please check that out and sign up to support the channel. Other than that, I'm going to get out of here, guys, and I'll catch you in the next reaction.